Last month, I was so excited that interest rates were at 6.11%. Well, as of today's filming, it's at 6.61%. So this is even after the Feds cut their rate four weeks ago. So why are mortgage rates going up if the Fed cut their rates? Well, my name is Philippe Crook with eXp Realty, and I educate all of my buyers and sellers about what is happening in the real estate market. And that's why you should subscribe and like this page because you're going to be learning a lot of information right now. So the first thing you need to know is that the Fed rates are not mortgage rates. The Federal Reserve sets what's called the Federal Reserve Rate, which are short-term interest rates that banks use to lend to each other overnight. They are very different than what are long-term rates, which are like mortgages. Number two, mortgage rates actually follow the bond market. So they actually follow the yield of a 10-year treasury bond. These are bonds that the U.S. government sells in order to raise some money. And when investors think that the economy is going slowly or is going to go down or there's going to be a recession, they put a lot of money into treasury bonds because it's a safe investment. But if investors think that the economy is going really, really well, then they're going to pull money out of those treasury bonds. And then the prices and the yields go up, which means the mortgage rates go up. So why are mortgage rates rising even though the feds cut their rates? Well, the first thing is inflation is still a big concern. A lot of investors are nervous that the inflation is going to rise again, which means the feds are going to raise their rate. And when they're lending on a mortgage, they don't want to lose out on the money to inflation. So they build that into the rates for the mortgages. They don't want to lose money. It's all about making money for those lenders. Number two, the economy is actually better than expected. Recent data showed that consumer spending, job growth, and wage growth are all doing really, really well. So that means that the feds might not have to cut those rates anymore. In fact, if it goes really, really well and the inflation goes higher, then um, they might have to raise the rates. But I'm going to talk a little bit more about that and what most economists are expecting to happen for the rest of the year. And the last thing, the government is using a lot of bonds in order to cover spending. And think about all the things that are happening in the world right now. The Middle East, hurricane relief. And there's also an election happening, which is freaking people out as well. So when the United States is borrowing a lot of money or raising a lot of money through bonds, that means there's a lot of bonds out there, which means that the yield on those bonds goes up, which means mortgage rates goes up. So what does this mean for mortgage rates in the future? Well, Fannie Mae and the Mortgage Bankers Association and the National Association of Realtors all expect that mortgage rates are going to end the end of this quarter at 6.1%. And we were basically there last month, but we went up because of all those factors I just talked about. But they are averaging that it's going to go down to 6.1% by the end of this year. By the end of the second quarter of 2005, they're expecting that mortgage rates are gonna go down to 5.9%. So what does that mean for house prices? Actually, most economists, there are nine economists in this chart that I'm gonna show you. Most economists are expecting that there's gonna be some appreciation in 2024 and 2025. So the average of all 11 of these economists are expecting that home prices are gonna appreciate by 2.6%. Now remember, these are national statistics. Los Angeles tends to outpace national statistics, so just keep that in mind. In fact, let's talk about some local statistics. I like to do a lot of business in uh, Silver Lake and Echo Park. It's a great community, and uh, there's a lot of things happening right now in Silver Lake. If you look at this chart here, the median sales price in Silver Lake and Echo Park was 1.495. Well, it went up a little bit, and then it came back down to 1.494. So it went down slightly from a year ago. Remember, this is a median sales price. And if you have one huge sale in there, which is really expensive, it kind of throws off the average. So just take that with a little grain of salt. Now we are seeing on a national level that inventory is rising and it is rising in Silver Lake as well. If you look at this chart in January of this year, we had 49 homes on the market. And as of September, we have 89 homes on the market. So that's a huge increase in inventory. Now, keep in mind, Silver Lake and Echo Park is a huge, huge area. There's a ton of people there, and there's only 89 properties in that entire area. So you would think that with the inventory increasing, that would also increase our days on the market. And here's where it's a kind of conundrum here in Silver Lake. And that's why it's so important to understand each local neighborhood, because 
Ellie is absolutely massive, and you want to make sure that you are dealing with the data of that specific neighborhood because neighborhoods in LA act very differently. For example, so in Silver Lake and Echo Park, things are moving very quickly. It's only taking 30 days to sell a home now versus 54 days back in January. That's in Silver Lake and Echo Park. Other parts of LA are behaving very differently. So if you were thinking about buying or selling a home in those areas, just comment down below and I can do a report based on that area too. So what do you think about all this information? I know that when mortgage rates go down, it's really going to help buyers, but it actually helps sellers too, because 70% of the sellers that own a home here, they have mortgage rates below 5%. So it, and some of them even have mortgage rates at 3%. It's going to be very hard to convince somebody to move from a 3% to a 6% mortgage rate. So when mortgage rates become a little bit more reasonable, you're going to see a lot more inventory come on the market. But again, you're also going to see a lot of buyers that have been waiting on the sidelines because mortgage rates are too high. So it can be a really interesting time right now if you're thinking about buying. You could avoid a lot of that competition that you will see when mortgage rates start to come down. You can always refinance or you can even negotiate a two-in-one buy down or have the seller pay some more of your closing costs right now because there's a little bit more negotiating room as mortgage rates tend to stay higher. But as soon as mortgage rates drop, you're going to see even more multiple offers than we already do. In fact, I am seeing multiple offers on properties that I'm working with for my buyers right now. And we're getting outbid and some of them we're getting. So if you are thinking about selling or buying right now, please give me a call. My number is 213-268-6832. I also have a great buyer's guide and seller's guide in the description down below. So just click on that link and I'd be more than happy to send that to you for free. And you can also schedule a time to chat with me about your specific real estate goals because LA is a massive place. I want to make sure that you get the best possible service with really good education about what is happening in the marketplace. Again, my name is Philippe Crook with eXp Realty, investing in your dreams.